Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We actually found a Sony video cassette recorder that is a combo with VHS, DVD. So this one actually has the function, which is right here. It says one touch dubbing, and it is a rewritable DVD drive as well. You have the VHS. What is cool about these is you can record from VHS over to DVD. That is the cool part of it. Or you can just use it as a VHS player, DVD player. So you have like the whole package all in one. And we are gonna turn it on today for you. We are gonna show you, you know, how some of the functions are. Of course, we're not gonna be recording anything, but we will show you that it actually works, plays. I'll show you the back. Another cool feature about this particular VCR is that it does have HDMI. Now the model number for this particular unit is RDR VX 560. We're gonna go ahead and start it now. And I am gonna zoom in a little bit and so you guys can actually see the screen. And there you go. That's something very cool that it does have. It does have this little flap right here. It covers everything. We'll leave that one open for you. And we are gonna open the DVD drive. Let me show you how that one works. There's the DVD drive. Close it up. And then the VHS player. Well, we actually have a cassette right here and we are gonna show you. Fast forward, as you can see, and then you get that little cool menu up on the top of the screen. And once you push play, it does show you, you know, it's playing on SP, it is high five. And then it shows you, you know, the cassette tape that is playing, you know, line one as well, which we are playing this through the HDMI port on the VCR. Okay guys, what I just did is just, I just fast forward the movie about nine minutes in. We were getting all those dark scenes, so I was trying to get a little bit more light on the monitor so you guys can actually see the picture. I know it's not gonna be the greatest picture because I am recording with an iPhone over the TV, but at least you guys get an idea as to what or how it works. And we're back. We are 10 minutes into the movie. It's playing great. I mean, you can hear the sound on the background. Now we're gonna push stop on there. And then we're gonna see, you know, how it actually works to rewind the tape. So we're pushing rewind. And now you can see the tape rewinding. Okay, it's going faster this time. So it went slow the first time, a little slow the second time, and now it's almost back to zero. The rewinding feature does work. We're gonna eject the tape now. You can see there, as soon as I push eject, it shows you eject on the VCR. And there's the tape. As you can see, uh, this side right here is empty, and now the whole movie is on this side. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put a DVD inside we have ACDC. Now we're gonna put it in. And it says the gig, so we're gonna help go ahead and push play on that. I'm not gonna lie, DVD does look way cleaner than VHS. We're gonna go ahead and skip. Now when we push stop on it, that's the menu that you get. So it shows you DVD video, stop, SP, line one. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the VHS movie again so you can actually see what it looks like when you're putting it in. And you get that little pop-up menu right away as soon as the movie goes into the VCR. Now remember, last time we put it in, we did rewind it all the way back. I'm gonna go ahead and push stop and then I'm gonna fast forward the movie. Let's see how the fast forward function works. Going forward, it goes really fast. We were at the nine minute mark. This time, I'm probably just gonna go 15. No, not even 15, just maybe halfway of that. I, I think that should be good enough. Okay, 
It has automatic tracking, like I said before. So now we're gonna push stop again. Now this one does have DVN, does have a USB right there. On this side, we will see DVD or video. You select between both. It does have channel up and down, which I don't think you can even use those anymore, but uh, you could control the channel up and down for the tracking. So if you have tracking issues, you can actually control them. And here you have your regular controls, which is the stop, pause, play, and then also back and forth, which is fast forward or rewind. We're gonna go ahead and close this up. And there you can see, it does have the sticker where it says requires uh, the use of either HDMI component or RCA type cables to connect with your TV, which we do have a set of RCA connections here in the front. And we also have them in the back and I'm gonna show you. Here we're gonna look at the back of the VCR. We have the Sony model. As you can see there, I'm zooming in. And it shows you, you know, video cassette recorder, DVD recorder as well. Um, shows you the model number on there. And then we're gonna go to the right side. This is actually the power cable. And then here's your HDMI out. We also have component video out, which I believe that's also, you know, like uh, HD. It'll give you like a better picture if you just use component um, AV. And you also have line out right here, and then you have line in as well. So if you have laser displayer or you have like a video game system, you know, from back in the day and you want to plug it in, you don't have enough connections on your TV, then this is an option right here. If you like the video, dislike the video, just let me know, you know, what I can do different in the future to make better videos for you guys. Just remember to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.